where do I put my hand? If I, if I hold them like this, I'll be all right. If I do this while I talk. <laughs> then I'll be all right. Where is this guy? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from New York. New York. Yes, and what are you doing here in China? I'm just traveling at the moment. I've come here from Taiwan, where I've been working and studying for nine months. What? Um, I've been teaching violin and mm -hmm. studying Chinese. So your job is violinist? I'm a violinist. Yes, I heard you before speaking very good Chinese. So you learned it in Taiwan? I learned it in Taiwan. I learned it in Taiwan while I was working oh, there. it's very interesting. So you can tell us something about the um, relation between Taiwan and China? Well, um... And maybe first uh, about Taiwan, about history of Taiwan. Maybe it will be very interesting. About Taiwan? Well, the little bit I know about Taiwan, um, I learned after I got there. As far as the language is concerned, there are three languages spoken in Taiwan. Right? Three. And there's Which? the Aborigine language, and those are the people that, the Polynesian people that originally lived in Taiwan. There's the Taiwanese dialect, which the Taiwanese Chinese speak. Um, and then there's the Mandarin, which the mainlanders that came over after the communist takeover. And Mandarin Chinese is spoken also in China. Is spoken also in China. It's the standard Chinese for all. Of and China. you learned? I learned Mandarin, Mandarin Chinese. So you can continue. About Taiwan. Well, the Mandarin Chinese is the standard for all, all of China. The standard language, right? Mm -hmm. It would be, I guess, like in. Yugoslavia, you have many different yes, yes. dialects and languages, but all of you speak what uh, sort of standard Croatian, Serbian, or yes. sort of Croatian, right? So, yes. And what about life in Taiwan? Life in Taiwan compared to life in mainland? Yes. Um, it's hard for me to say. In the countryside, it seems about the same, right, in the countryside, the farmers. Mm -hmm. right? um, the same in China, in China's country. As, so. as it is in China, mm -hmm. about the same, right? Um, and what's the life, the life of this kind of people? Um, I would guess very long days <laughs> of hard work, right? Um, not a great deal of money, right? not a great deal. In the cities, though, it's quite a bit different. Taiwan cities are very new, right? very new, very... What kind of architecture? Very modern. Same as in China? Or? No, it's not the same as in China. You don't have the... You don't have the old monument buildings, right, that you find in China, say, in Peking, right? There are a few old temples, a few old temples in Taiwan, but not... Similar as in China? Somewhat, somewhat similar as in China, right? A few old Chinese temples. But most of the cities are very modern buildings, built in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Built very quickly, right? Built very quickly. Taiwan cities have grown very quickly. And what's about the way of living of Taiwan people? Um, in the cities, which is what I know best. Which, which cities you know? Uh, the city I know best of all is Taipei. The capital. The capital. Uh, Taipei is very westernized, right? It's very westernized. Lots of western restaurants, films, stores, right? There are some parts of Taipei where if you pretended, <laughs> right, they weren't all Chinese around you, you could imagine looking at the store windows, you were in the United States at some mm -hmm. point, right? It's very westernized. Uh, lots of cars. Right? Everyone has their own car or motorcycle. Mm -hmm. um, almost too many cars. So people is allowed to have their own cars mm -hmm. in Taiwan. 
in Taiwan. Yeah. Because in China, it's different situation. It's much different. It. Yeah. The people is not allowed to have. Yeah. In, in Peking, when you see the hordes of bicycles, right? Everyone riding a bicycle. In Taiwan, instead of everyone bi riding a bicycle, it's everyone riding a motorcycle. <laughs> right. so. What's about the life of young people in Taiwan? And can you compare it to life of Chinese young people? Life of young people in Taiwan, I think, right now has lots of opportunities. They have lots of opportunities. The country is very rich, very wealthy country, still developing very quickly, have a very healthy economy. Uh, education, educational opportunities, very many, very good universities. Um, and lots of opportunity to leave the country, right? Mm -hmm. To maybe go to the States or Europe to study, right? or work for a few years. And what do you think about uh, the young people in China? In my mind? Well, um, those with a good university education, right, in mainland China, have the opportunity of going to the United States, I know, and, and studying. It's probably not as easy as it is in Taiwan, but mm -hmm. the opportunities also are increasing. Are increasing. But what the Taiwan's young people think about life in China? Oh, about well, young people in China? Well, they're they're very interested, right, in what's going on here. They're very, very interested. In fact, whenever they hear that an American is going to China, someone they know is going, right? because they can't go to China themselves. Um, they want you to take lots of pictures and bring them back and show them, tell them all about it. They're very interested. They have lots of information on mm -hmm. China. Um, all the Western magazines that print articles on developments here, they can find and read in Taiwan. Right? They're sold on the streets of Taiwan. Things like Newsweek and Time. Mm -hmm. But if they try, or if they go to China, can they turn back to Taiwan? Um, they would have trouble going back, right? If they could come to China, it would be no problem. But to return to Taiwan then would be a great deal of trouble. I have heard that it's possible to sneak into the mainland, right? That with sort of using a double passport, you can have a visa stamped in something that you can then rip out. So when you return to Taiwan, no one can tell. Right? No one can tell you've been here. But I would still guess it's very, it's very tricky. It's very tricky, difficult. Mm -hmm. And what about political news in Taiwan about China? What Taiwanese politician <coughs> think about China's politics of China's life? Um, From the newspapers, of course. From the newspapers, well, the newspapers I read in Taiwan are printed in English because my Chinese is still not good enough to read Chinese newspapers. But um, from television and radio reports, um, and from the English printed newspapers, right, which many of the Taiwanese can read, um, I would say that they realize things are changing very quickly here in mainland China. That the government here seems to be a little more liberal in its policies, less less strict, right? Less strict. That opportunities in free enterprise are opening up. They, they realize that. But what's about the other relation between Taiwan and China? For example, trade between these two countries, do they exist? It does exist. In fact, Taiwan um, does a lot of trading with the mainland. Not directly. It's always done through a third party. Right? Much of the trade goes through Hong Kong first, and then from Hong Kong into mainland China. So many things that are made in Taiwan, it's possible to find here in the mainland. So fine. there is a direct. It's always done connection. through a third, right? Through a third party, always. right? But it's a triangular trading system. 